Use your glutes to squeeze it up. Take your time if you need to. You don't have to stay with my tempo. Take it to the side again. Big jackers. You can keep that leg really straight. Good. Push it back one more time. Push. Stay up really tall. No leaning forward. Use your glutes to bring that leg up. Good. Maybe four. Three. Two. March in place. Four. Take it around. All right, bring yourself back and maybe bring that deep breath in as you keep marching. One more. Open those legs up. Give me a big stretch to the other side. You can take it back to the other side and come down towards that leg. Swing it across on the other side. Lock yourself up. One more deep breath in here. Grab yourself a sip of water. And then you're going to start today. What do we have today? We're going to start actually with our rows. So I want you to grab your weights when you come back for your rows. All right. To get into position, I want you to have your feet shoulder width apart, knees are bent. Arms come out front, palms are up towards the ceiling. You're going to reach back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then repeat. Find your speed, stay with it. Think about your shoulder blades. So I'm looking for things to open and then contract. Perfect. Right with those feet. 
feet. Big legs. Give 
your arms are tired. You can do whatever with them as long as they're moving. Maybe they're out in front. Maybe they're punching. Maybe it's alternating. Good. If you want to go full jacks, let's do full jacks. Last 10 seconds. Think about those arms, you guys. Pull them down. Hold. Use those laps. Four. Three. Two. And march out. Give me four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to go back to our back with flies. So grab a sip of water, bring your weights back with you to do flies. Remember our flies, where you have like, your arms stay in a circular position, we're just focusing on the shoulder blades, squeezing and opening. All right? So again, it's kind of as if I was in this position here, and I open and close, like I'm holding a big ball in front of me. And all I do is squeeze those short legs. Here we go! Yes. Do you feel your shoulder blades squeezing together behind you? Then you're doing it right. We've got about five seconds left, so five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and grab your heaviest weights of all. We're going to come into this stationary split lunge position. Shoulders are fast, take it down and up. Good. A little bit bigger stance. Perfect, that's it. If it's too small, then you kind of crunch into it. I also want to stay nice and open. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, switch sides. When you're ready, go ahead and begin. Good job. We're going to finish up here. Last four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, we're going to go back to our second set of flies. So grab your weight for flies. All right, let's begin. Squeeze. Really focus on those shoulders here. Squeeze, release. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Good, I want you to go straight. 
straight down. So we're not leaning forward. Not on this exercise. Good. Think about the front leg doing all the work. Stretching, extending.
twist at the top. Palms face the thighs, and then they come up, and then they face my shoulders. Easy, easy. Good. Give me four. Three. Two. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to add a knee lift to this. Watch my step. I come up, I give a knee lift and a uh, bicep curl. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll turn this way. <laughs> All right, here I go. I'm going to start with my right foot. I'm going to go knee up, last one's up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you've got it, find your speed and tempo. That's it. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go into our triceps now, so we're going to do our kickbacks. Set up. And extend. Keep those shoulders lifted high. Abs pulled in. And slightly leaning forward. Beautiful. See if you get full extension of those elbows. Good. So get a good squeeze. Keep those elbows up. Last four, three, two, and one. You gonna stand up really tall for me. Give me those extensions. Good. Make sure your abs are pulled in and then your neck is nice and tall. Good work. That's it. Four, three, two, shake those arms out. We're going back to our bicep curls. All right, when you're ready, we got basic curls right here. Perfect, I love that shoulder adjustment. Shoulders are rolled back, heads are lifted nice and tall. Good, make sure there's no shoulder movement. Keep those shoulders really solid. So make sure you're going all the way down and getting full extension every time you start over from scratch. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Ten seconds left to the basic, and then we're going to add that knee lift in. Give me four, three, two, and one. I'm going to step forward to my right. Left knee comes up. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. You got it. You can find tempo or your own tempo. It all depends on what size weight we have. Coordination for it. <laughs> Almost done. Give me five, four, three, two, and release. Woo! All right, triceps right here. Good. I want to see you leaning forward slightly. A nice long back. Perfect. 
So I'm in a split stance, but you're welcome to be in a two foot together stance with knees soft. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Give me 10 more seconds here. Last four, three, pull those abs in, and release, stand up really tall, head lifted, extension right here. Good, so now we have no elbow movement at all, it's just the shoulders. Good work. Finish up strong here. Heads are lifted. Chins are tucked in. Give me four, three, two, and release. Well done. Shake those arms out. And let's set up our mat. We're going to actually start out today with some centipedes. We're going to do a walkout. So if the walkout feels like too much, you're welcome to hold a basic plank. Otherwise, we're going to take it out. You're going to start here in your forward fold. And then you're going to walk it out until you're in a plank position. And then you'll walk it back. Again, if it feels like it's too much for the shoulders, you can always hold your basic plank. Okay? All right. Do the best that you can. Ready? Walk it out. Take your time with it. Hold your plank for one with thousand. And then you can bring it back. And even if you're not coming out to a full plank, let's say you come down to the down dog and that feels comfortable for you, keep it there. All right? So find your rhythm, find your depth, and go with it. And like I said, you can always just stay in plank. We're going to stay here for another 15 seconds, so get as many in as you can. Good work, good work. Beautiful, keep that core tight. Last four, three, two, and one. Well done, you guys. Okay, everybody is now going to be in plank position. You can be up on the hands or on the elbows. If you are on your knees for your plank, you can stay here. We're going to do our down dog and then back to plank. If you're on your toes, you're just going to extend through, lift those hips up, and come back to your plank position. If that feels like too much, just stay in plank. All right, here we go. Hips up, and then back down. Push up, and down. Good work. Keep your core really tight as you do this. Good, we have about 10 seconds left. See how many more you can get in? Take your time with it. Really feel those abs tightening up as you come back to your plank. Give me four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down to your top toes. Good job, you guys. I love that you all choose what works best for you and you're listening to your bodies. All right, come out flat on your belly. All right, we're gonna work our extension. We're going to start with our arms overhead at that high V. So not straight ahead, but out to that 45 degree angle. When you lift up, I want you to hold here, and then I want you to pull, push back out, and then down. All right, so the whole motion is you lift, pull, press out, and down. Do as many as you can. Here we go. Good. We need to bring those elbows back 
Bring those knees in. Give yourself a big hug. Maybe you can rock side to side. Massage that low back. We're going to start with a spinal twist. Extend your right leg. Bring your left knee across. Stretch out that left arm. See if you can get a chest stretch in there too. Move it up and down. Just feel like, where's a good stretch for my arm?
toes, grab behind the knees, behind the ankles, grab the soles of the feet. Take a couple of breaths where you can feel your legs relaxing, your low back is relaxing. All right, we're going to come to our hip flexor stretches. All right, you can either keep the leg down or you can pop it off the floor in that kind of lunge, whatever feels most comfortable. The goal is to stretch those hip flexors right here, so you're going to press it forward. All right, let's do the other side and I'll let you guys go. I won't keep you forever, I promise. Keep stretching, take a couple deep breaths. And then go ahead and release from there. We've got one last thing and that is gonna be your forward fold. I love this one because it allows your head just to relax. Your shoulders can relax. Everything can kind of dangle here. It's like our half inversion. When you're ready, bend those knees and slowly roll yourself up. We are done. 